Hi there, I'm David Wick with the Sherburn Soil and Water Conservation District, and today we're going to be talking about Oakwell. So to start off, we're going to go over the difference between white oak and red oak. So the red oak group has pointed tips and edges of it on the leaves, and the white oak group has rounded tips and edges. Now that we know the difference between red oak and the white oak, let's talk about oak wilt. Oak wilt is a fungal disease that particularly infects the red and the white oak group. However, it is especially deadly to the red oaks. How does oak wilt spread? Oak wilt spreads in two ways, below ground and above ground. Below ground oak wilt spreads through root grafts. Root grafts occur when two oak trees are growing in close proximity and the roots grow together. The reason this happens is so that the oak trees can share nutrients and water between them. However, this also leads to funguses being spread. The above ground spread of oak wilt occurs through sap feeding beetles. The sap feeding beetles are attracted to the fungal spores on currently infected oak wilt trees. The beetles then become covered in spores and are attracted to the chemicals produced by injured oak trees. The beetles then go and feed on the sap being produced from these injured trees and thus infect the tree with oak wilt. Symptoms include rapid wilting starting at the top and outer portions of the tree and progressing down. Leaves brown from the tips and edges towards the base. Complete wilting and leaf loss can occur in as little as four weeks. How do we stop the spread? We stop the below ground spread by the use of a vibratory plow to sever the root grafts between the trees. This is typically used in conjunction with fungicide. The fungicide is used to protect healthy trees. However, the fungicide cannot be used to save a currently infected tree. We stop the above ground spread by not injuring trees during the high risk period. The high risk period is from April through mid July. During this time, no pruning or injuring of trees should take place. Consequently, storm damage is out of our control. The low risk period occurs from mid-July till the end of October. Pruning is acceptable, however, it is still not recommended. All pruning should occur during the no risk period. This period is from November through mid-March. If you have any further questions, feel free to drop a comment below, send us an email, or give us a phone call.